So hello again everyone, as you can see we're not at Stormpolder, we are out and about at the Rotterdam Tram Company Museum in the southwest of uh, the Netherlands. We've been, uh, our group was asked to attend this three day event that they've got going on here and these are just some of the shots show, showing us setting up. This is the storage sheds for the trams that you can see outside. first time we've attended this event. Going past, a, that's a very interesting milk wagon by the way, it's got a film in there for the public, they can learn all about how the milk used to be taken to Rotterdam and of course some other locomotives you can see here on the tables. Early in the morning, so we're just getting set up. So this video is gonna be a, a little featurette showing some of the locomotives that were steaming up. And first off, it was a uh, double fairly, roundhouse double fairly. So he was really uh, the guinea pig, checking to see that the track was in order while the rest of us were uh, still getting ourselves sorted. Of course, it was a great location to come and watch locomotives. Um, but for filming, not so good. You're going to hear a lot of echo and you see that bouncy, bouncy cushion in the background. You're going to hear lots of kids screaming and shouting later on as well, so I apologise in advance for that. Of course we had a one in one scale traction engine was there as well and here he is getting himself set up. very nice machine this. I believe that nameplate said it was made in Ipswich somewhere in the UK. And there you can see our tables uh, in the background just inside the shed. Okay next up is my roundhouse George locomotive. Uh, regular viewers to the site will have seen it before. The summer lunch chuffer sounds quite good in this particular location.
Okay, so next up we have a German 52 class steam locomotive, 210, and now he's uh, warming up. That noise in the background is actually this thing, the one and a half inch gauge Alchin locomotive. It's almost brand new, still being running in, and uh, that howling noise, uh, we think the, the gas blower needs a bit of fettling so uh, that's going to be something that the owner is going to be trying to sort out after the show. Yeah the 210 itself it uh, Ran as a it ran as clockwork. Very powerful machine. This got plenty of steam, as you can see. So we didn't just have uh, steam machines on rails with us, one of the guys had his uh, three quarter inch scale sentinel with him and he was trundling around outside with that, which is uh, always a bit of fun. Had to be wary of the odd uh, baby pram and so on. So there he goes off to have a chat with his one-in-one -one scale big brother. Okay, back inside on our oval. And we have uh, a regular Bavarian locomotive. Okay, next up we have uh, a Shea, obviously modelled on an American prototype, logging locomo locomotive. Lovely mechanism on the on these machines.
All right, so the last locomotive uh, we're featuring in this video on uh, the indoor layout today is this uh, dark green D-Class Garrett. Plenty of steam, some nice uh, smoke coming out the chimney. Yeah, we had a great day and uh, hopefully we can come back next year and uh, entertain the public again. Okay, so no video of the tram museum is complete without seeing one of the steam trams come by. This is number 50 built in 1913 by Henschel and Sons. Just listen. Thanks for watching and you'll find a link to uh, the museum in the description of this video. Hope you enjoyed it.